Here on Pippin's pregame, alongside manager Marcus McKimmy, as we preview game two of the series between the Pippins and the Grey Wolves, a tough 10-4 loss for the team yesterday, and uh, something that certainly stood out, five errors in the game, some you know some sloppy play there, some sloppy base running. Uh, talk about, it seems like there are things that can be adjusted. What does the team have to do to kind of correct some of those things today? Well, it starts with pitching and defense. We, uh, we made some uncharacteristic mistakes uh, from some guys uh, yesterday, and yeah, we didn't stay out of a big inning, you know, that... That seven-run inning could have uh, could have been stopped with with a player two early on, and then uh, obviously you know to cap it off. I mean, there's there's some uh, give them credit. I mean, they were they were able to two out hit us to death and and continue to to put runs on the board, and and that was a difference. It seems like a couple times now teams have put up those big frames. Obviously, in the Wenatchee game, that one seemed kind of like an outlier at the time, but here is seven-run frame. You guys have done that to other teams as well, but uh, is, is it a matter, like you're saying, of telling guys, you know, stay focused, try to get out of there? I, I almost relate it kind of to a golfer almost when they're trying to limit the damage. Is that kind of the message to the guys, or is just make a play here or there? No, you got to – exactly, you got to make plays. Uh, players make plays. Uh, you know, the game and the league is, is very, very good and, and competitive, and – and the things that you've got to do to win consistently, you know, are, uh, you know, are are easier said than done. But yeah, for for us, you know, I thought Colin had good stuff, and you know, being able to to shut that down by by a player two behind him or or a big pitch from him, you know, there with two outs uh, was important, and we did, we just didn't do that. The question I have for you too, Lucas Denny last night ending his second home run of the season. He's a guy who didn't play pretty much all of last season, actually the entire season because he had a broken leg. There's other guys who too who maybe redshirted or didn't play as much. Uh, talk about guys like that coming to, the, to a league like this or any kind of wood bat league stepping in when they haven't played as much and uh, the way they're able to step up what he's done and kind of how guys are able to adjust the way that he has. Well, Luke's, Luke's a veteran. He's He's got a plan. You know, it wasn't like he was just, you know, inactive for, you know, uh, physically for five months. You know, he was – he was he came in and in, in good baseball shape and and was hungry and you know the last probably six weeks before he arrived you know he's practicing fully and so yeah with regard to him being being an older guy or 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 some young guys coming in and and you know being ready to go that's it's it's a mentality and it's a mindset and it's a, it's a business like approach that you've got to have to be successful AJ Landis on the mound tonight, fourth start for him. Kind of looking at his card, very accurate. He's around the strike zone, really good strikeout to walk ratio. And then on the other side, he's giving up a lot of hits. Team's hitting pretty well against him. Is there an adjustment to make? Kind of Coach Kurds and you, have you talked to him and kind of one, two key things to, for him to look at today? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's uh, there, there's some work ons, some build ons that that we that AJ knows about, and uh, some some individual goals that he's. He's really working on this summer, but uh, yeah, he's a strike thrower with, with multiple pitches. The contact that he's given up is, has been hard contact, and so uh, you know we're, uh, we're we're limiting that. And you know, uh, on the defensive side, you know we our our players know that that's that's the type of game that, that he throws is 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 you know he's going to give up some hard contact based on his velocity and and his arsenal of pitches, and we just have to be able to to defend that and be prepared for that. AJ Landis on the mound for the Pippins tonight, trying to even up the series here in Gresham at 5.05.